here and it is March 26th. It is a Tuesday afternoon and I am heading into Barnes tomorrow for surgery number two with the eye socket. When my eye was put in, I let you all know that it was doing well and they had done the procedure and I was recovering. What we did not know was after the eye was put in and we let it settle in and everything, the eye started to fall back to where it sinks into the back of the eye and that's where you get the shadow up here like this and um, they're going to work on that. What they'll do is they will take out the entire socket again and the prosthetic and they will put a wedge in behind the eye. It looks kind of like a wedge that um, you put under your door to keep your door open but it's real tiny and made out of silicone and what that will do is allow the eye prosthetic and the socket to lean a little forward so that we don't have this up here so that it will look more balanced and not sunk in and it won't appear as wide if you notice this eye does appear wide or open sometimes than this eye that's because it's pushing it a certain way and the prosthetic will be fixed hopefully after I have the wedge surgery tomorrow afternoon at Barnes what is going on is when they did the first procedure and removed the eye and put in the new prosthetic and socket we found out that most people have between a 21 to 23 centimeter eye I have a 27, which is extremely large, as they tell me. They do not make a socket big enough or a prosthetic big enough. So they are doing their best to make it look as natural as possible. Um, I was not happy about this procedure. I didn't know this was going to happen or could happen. But I've been a little bit more uneasy with this one. Um, they have not been able to keep my record straight, which is not like the hospital. It's the staff that's hired by Barnes but they have lost my appointments four times, they lost scheduling, they lost my information, they didn't have my insurance information today when I got my call for the pre-op to make sure everything was set. That is now all straightened out, so I just took a deep breath, calmed down, because I'm still frustrated with that. I think that is a bad, bad outlook on the hospital, and that's not like them. They're, it's a very good hospital. And I can't blame Dr. Couch because he doesn't pick the staff there, the hospital does. However, I do think your staff represents you as a surgeon and therefore I think this situation should be looked into a lot stronger than what I'm doing here, which is just letting you publicly know that your people in the offices kind of stink at their paperwork and we don't need that nervousness when we're going into surgery. We need to be calm, relaxed and able to say, I'm in good hands. So as a patient that's going into the barns for another eye surgery, I'm going to say this, get your act together. As for my friends out there, just take this stuff one day at a time. That's how I'm doing it. If I tried to take this all into one big group of surgeries, procedures, protocol, I would be crazy. Instead, I just take it one day at a time, try not to get frustrated, try not to get down, rely on your friends to help you out. If you got family, that's even greater. They can be there for you. And just remember that sooner or later, we do get this through. And I'm hoping and praying this surgery will be the last one for a while. And, you know, I, I know there's a possibility that I may need another, but I'm hoping this will be enough. But I'm not giving up. If they tell me we have to do one more, then I'm just going to do one more because I'm going to see this through to the end. And I'm going to keep videotaping it to the end so that if somebody else has to go through all these situations, you know, you're, it's here and you can look at it. Just because they say it's a slight chance, don't hold your breath because if you're anything like me, you end up being the one that is the slight chance. So all I'm going to say is have a good evening, hang in there, good luck, God bless, talk to you soon.